Alrighty guys, here we go again. 2016 International Lone Star in red. I didn't do a uh, tour of my Lone Star because we had all of our stuff in there. Um, which I probably should have because ours is a lot cleaner. But it's gone now. Paul drove off with it. He's out trucking with it. So this is our next specimen here. Uh, I like the red. I personally like the red. Uh, this one is a true mid-roof. It's got the cap, the roof cap taken off of it. But it's kind of tight through here. I'll do my best to do an outside walk around. I'm sure. Yep, this has the Cummins. See the red down in there. Cummins 15. And I'll do my best to give the outside walk around here, guys. It's pretty, it's pretty tight. This one's pretty messy. Uh, this one has the EPU. Also, there's batteries. There's a bank of four batteries in that step box there. Um, electric APU. EPU. Electric power unit. There you go. I like that red, man. I really do. I like the white one that we had. But for some reason, this red really pops on me for some reason. Some people uh, don't like it. Here's the, the EPU. You got all your, your AC condenser and all the pieces, parts in there, right? Uh, got stacks. Got a hood and stacks on this one, guys. We got full chicken lights. DPF, all that stuff down in there. That's 2016. So... There we go. Let's try to get inside here. Uh, like I said, this one's a little bit of a mess. So I apologize, but you'll get the basic idea of what this truck is. Um, mine was the same way. The white one we had, that we still have, uh, that I just gave to Paul is exactly the same, but much cleaner. <laughs> uh, door pockets here. Um, got speaker in the door. Power mirrors. Power windows, power door locks. And uh, pretty, pretty nice little truck here. Let me try to get in and get situated. Put the seat back. Uh, tilt the wheel down. The tilt for the wheel is right here. This lever. Uh, you got headlights, panel lights, work lights, and automatic headlights. Um, yeah, ours is a lot cleaner, man. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But this gives you an idea of what the truck is, you know. Um, it's it's decent, man. Got nice gauges. Um, she cleans up really good. Once you get all these, get it all wiped down, uh, they clean up really well. Full gauge package on this. Um, the premium models will have a touch screen there with all your GPS and all that stuff. Um, steering wheel controls. Headlight. Cruise control. Thank you button, air horn, engine brake, radio controls, all that sort of stuff. And uh, this one has a 13 speed. All right. 13 speed there. Got all your air conditioning controls. Um, you know, this is one of, it's an international. And this is one of my complaints about the international is the fit and finish. You know, it's just, um, you know, never mind about the dirt. You know, I mean, even if you clean this up. It's just the fit and finish of everything. It kind of bugged me. Um, but it's all right. It's okay, you know. Um, a little bit of work. You could probably tighten tighten everything up. Uh, the key is on the right side. And we got sleeper dome, cab dome. Uh, everything is off. Uh, floor lights. It had red lights uh, on the floor lights. So party lights in here. Pretty cool at night. Um, dome light, all that sort of stuff. Uh, all LED lights, as usual. Most of the newer trucks are all LEDs. Um, this was pre-wired for a Qualcomm. And same thing over here. Got door pockets and power controls, all that sort of stuff. Um, pretty much an international thing. Also, with the Pro Stars and the Lone Stars, this is not a glove box. This is all your fuses. 
all your all your relays and stuff so when you're driving um, you know turn signal brakes anything basically anything you do there's all sorts of clicky noises coming off from there um, it's a little annoying but it is what it is so all your relays all your flashers everything is behind that panel so like I said every time you do anything that makes some noise so but it is what it is um, let me kind of zoom back here plenty of room between the seats basic setup kind of similar to a, a Pro Star all right the cab of these the sleeper of these is, is very similar to the Pro Star um, we'll start up here at the top you got a real long cubby hole up here these nets come off pretty quick and easy to put bigger stuff up there um, got a paper towel holder right here put your paper towels there That's, that was pretty cool uh, cubby hole here I used to keep my wallet all my uh, driving essentials there um, little cubby hole here for permit book all that sort of stuff paperwork clipboard can go right there and then a CB hole all right and then now over here we've got a whole nother set of uh, a shelf there and then another cubby hole all right this is missing the sleeper curtain there's no sleeper curtain in here what happened <laughs> but uh, it's got the uh, windshield curtains so that's cool um, cabinets got a decent sized cabinet and a little cubby hole there um, straps stuff to put uh, either your microwave or your TV and stuff in there and then uh, pull out drawer sit down have something to eat um, there's a little latch over here push that and it'll slide back in uh, I'm scared to open these drawers guys <laughs> Uh, decent drawer in there, paperwork, um, eating utensils, whatever, you know. Um, down here would be where the fridge is. Uh, obviously there's no fridge, but it would take a normal uh, truck fridge. And then you got a little cubby hole there, put binders, um, whatever you want. And then there's a matching one over here on this side, okay. So, that is that side. And there's uh, more sleeper outlets and 12 volt antenna outlet there. Kind of zoom out of the back. I got speakers down there. This is a double bunk. Okay, so I'll pull the bunk down here in a minute. We got all your sleeper controls here. And then little cubby holes and stuff right there. And a big ass window. Another outlet over here. Um, I've got another strap. Uh, I put my microwave on this side when I had mine. And then another cabinet with a cubby hole there. Now in the solo trucks, the ones that don't have the top bunk, you would have another cabinet here and over on the other side. So uh, let's drop this top bunk down. It's kind of a seat belt style thing push it release there's your top bunk got an AC vent up there um, LED lights and it's pretty tight guys um, this is a mid-roof truck with a double bunk so there's not a lot of space between the top bunk and the bottom bunk once you put a mattress there okay so let's put this back up grab this so seat belt style latch there latch that back up and uh, there you have it we'll see what's under the bed here nope that doesn't lift up um, you got decent a decent cubby hole under the bed I put a couple of uh, uh, plastic bins under there to put clothes and stuff like that um, this side has a decent uh, cabinet should have a bar up there hang your shirts on 
and uh, then some storage down at the bottom, right? Um, back pockets on both seats. And there you go, guys. That's basically it. Um, there's a storage compartment on the outside. You probably saw it as I did the walk around. Um, you need the key to open it, and the keys are all locked up here. So um, there's, there's decent storage under the bed. Um, it goes all the way under the bed. Um, you can put put quite a bit of things in there. There's there's decent storage under the bed. So there you go. Hope you all enjoyed the dirty Lone Star. Damn shame for his truck to be dirty like this. They clean up really good, guys. You've you've seen them out on the road. Beautiful trucks. Uh, they run smooth. Lots of power out of that Cummins, and we didn't have any problems with ours at all. So, good truck. The only problem with these trucks is the fuel mileage. Uh, we were pulling reefer with uh, skirts and tails on the reefer. And we had the high top. We had the cap on the top. And we were really lucky to get 7 or 7.5. So, But it generally ran around 6.5. 6.3 to 6.8. Somewhere around there is what you're going to get out of this truck, pulling a reefer. Uh, you might see a little bit more in a flatbed situation. I don't know, but that's what we were getting. There you go, guys. 2016 Lone Star. We'll talk to you later.